fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, most of the traveling was done by stagecoach. And even in the more thickly populated districts, long trips were dangerous. The trails were rough and narrow. Hostile Indians and hold-up men found it easy to rob the coaches. And it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for law and order that travel became safe. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Saddle's waiting on the trail ahead! We've got to hurry! Hi, old Silver! How are The stage from the east was arriving in the little western town of Crown Butte, but not in the usual way. The horses, wild-eyed and panic-stricken, thundered down the road while the stage careened from side to side, and the driver clutched at a sleeve stained red. He had lost the reins, and the frantic animals paid no attention to his shouts. townspeople stared at the sight in astonishment, then added their shouts to those of the driver. The stage is running wild. Look, they've been wounded. Get clear. Get out of the way. Stay to the side or you get trampled. Somebody's got to stop them horses. Suddenly an Indian leaped to the back of a powerful paint and sent his mount toward the oncoming stage. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Get him up, fella. Get him up. Straight for the lead horses he rode. Then as he neared them, he wheeled his horse, thrust forward a muscular arm, and grabbed the bridle. Oh! That's where you should hold on the lackey now. Oh! Pull oh, back, Scout. Oh, oh, you'll get me, Minchin. Oh, Scout. Just don't let him get loose. Oh, color. Oh, color. Oh. 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 Redskin, thanks a million. Uh, I was looking for this year's stage to topple over most any time. That's all right. Get him out, Scout. Get him out. What happened, Lay? Hey, you're wounded. Was it a holdup? What made the horses go wild? Uh, where's the sheriff? I'll talk to the rest here after I've seen him. Can he around? Right here, Lay. Stand aside, folks. Let me through. Sheriff, for a spell there, I didn't know whether I was going to reach town alive or not. How'd you get shot? Who done it? That's something I'd admire to know myself. Hmm? The fellow that done it wore a hood. I got drilled for being a plain loco idiot. Reached from a shotgun while I was covered. What did he steal? Nothing. Nothing? 
Then what was you held up for? Uh, just tell these folks to stand clear of the stage, and I'll show you, Sheriff. What the... Go on, tell them to stand back. Get back, folks. Get back, all of you. Now come here, and I'll show you what's inside the stage. Yeah? I thought them folks ought to get back so you could see what happened before anybody else. Here. Now look inside when I open the door. There. The, the banker. Done for. But what? Uh, How? Don't ask me nothing. I'll tell you just what happened, but you'll have to figure it out for yourself. What did happen? Well, you see, I was just on the other side of the flats when this horseman rode out from behind some cover, made me pull up. Waiting for you, huh? Must have been. Well, I had to pull up, so I did. I figured first off it was a holdup. Then I thought that the polecat uh, could see that I wasn't carrying anything worth the stealing, why he'd let us go on. Uh-huh. But he didn't even try to find out what was on the stage. All he done was ride up beside the banker and shoot point blank. That was when I reached for the shotgun. He snapped a shot my way, then emptied the rest of his bullets into the bank of Whipple. Well, I'll be switched. Just gunning for Whipple, then. Right. Don't know who the skunk was, but he sure must have had it in for him. Then what happened? Well, then he reached for a second shooting iron and fired past my horse's ears. I'd lost the reins when he winged me, and with them shots buzzing by so close, them critters just naturally went loco. Your arm bothering you much? Well, it ain't nothing but a flesh wound. Anything else you can tell me? Nothing I can think of right off. Then you'd better go get that wound tended to. Well, thanks. Want me again? I'll be in the stage office in a little spell. Right. What was it, sir? What was inside the stage? It was point there. Anybody in there? Blast it! Stand back like I told you. Deputy! Hi, Deputy! Uh You stand right here and keep everybody from the stage, Savvy? Sure. Clint Winters around? Right here, sir. Fine. Where's Pinky Samuel? You want me? Uh Uh-huh. You and Clint and Bart Baker over there come along to my office. What's up, Chief? You'll find out soon enough, Bart. Go right ahead in, fellas. Oh, but gosh, I got business down the street. Pinky, right now you got more important business here with me. Step inside. Now, what's this all about, Sheriff? Well, seeing as you're so curious, Clint, uh, where was you just about an hour ago? Oh, I. Uh, well, I was just trying to think. Oh yeah, I was riding to town and over to my south section, looking around, and I came on in. Why? That'll wait. Where was you, Bart? Me? Hey, I was still home. Got anybody can swear to that? No. You see, everybody was I gone. I thought but... that'd be the way of it. Well, what about you, Pinky? Gosh, I don't know where I was. Not exactly. That is, I could... mean to say you can't even recollect where you was just an hour ago? Well, let me think a second. I was in the cafe most of the morning, and then I... Oh, yeah, I got it now. I left the cafe to ride over to Wolf Larson's place. But he wasn't there, so it came on back. Okay, Sheriff. You can't question us without saying why. Bart, you had it in for Banker Whipple ever since he stopped you from marrying his daughter, ain't you? Oh, I wouldn't put it just like that. I would. Clint, it was really the banker pulling again you that beat you out when you ran again me for Sheriff. Recollect? You just bet I do. Then maybe you recollect how you said someday you'd get even. Yeah, and I will. Or maybe you have. Pinky, didn't Whipple foreclose on you once? He did, the money-grabbing old miser. None of you fellas liked him. But speaking by and large, Whipple was right well liked. Was. Was. Right now, he's dead. Murdered. And out of the whole district, you're the only three I can think of might have done it. When the sheriff had finished interviewing his three suspects, he rode to the scene of the murder but found no clue pointing to the killer. Early the following morning, however, as he was unlocking his office for the day, he heard someone call to him. Sheriff, now who? Keep going. Inside. Why? Don't snap, another. Inside, I said. What in blazes you want? A talk. I... And don't mistake me for an outlaw because I'm wearing a mask. I'm here to help you. Oh, help me? I don't savvy this. The banker was murdered yesterday. You know something about that, did you? Kill him? I didn't. Then uh... I investigated the place where the killing occurred, however. <laughs> so did I. And if you're trying to tell me you found a clue to the killer there, then it's cause you planted that clue. I combed that place and never found nothing. Nor did I. 
Then what do you mean you can help me? I found a trail near the stage road. The killer's trail? No. Tonto and I examined it. You possibly remember Tonto. He's the Indian who halted the stage yesterday. He your friend? Yes. Well, go ahead. I said we found a trail near the stage road. It could have been left by the killer because it didn't go all the way back to the road. It halted about a quarter of a mile away, then turned back. Oh, what good is that? Just this. Every sign indicated the trail we found was made near the time of the murder. It's just possible the man who made that trail saw the killing. Mm. And I think you can tell me who he is. Yeah? How? We saw tracks that at first I thought were made by a wolf pack. Tonto told me they were made by dogs, however. Hey, wait. You telling me you seen the trail of a horse and some dogs? Exactly. Wolf Larson. Who is he? Lives just outside of town. Makes his living hunting and trapping wolves for the bounty. How many dogs would you say was in that pack? Perhaps a half dozen. Then it was him and no doubt of it. He's got six of the fiercest dogs trained to hunt wolves you ever seen. And do you see what that means? He may have seen the killing. If he did, he had dogs with him to trail the killer. And in that case, he could tell you the killer's name. Well, if you could figure all that, why didn't you trail Larson? Not and I tried, and we know that he circled after turning back and cut over to the stage road. After that, we lost his trail when he struck lava country. Well, if you couldn't follow his trail, then how could he follow the killers? You're forgetting he had dogs with him that could follow by scent alone. By thunder, you're right. I've got a notion what you just told me explains something. Yes? Now I'll bet Wolf knows who shot the banker. What makes you so certain? Why, everything fits. Wolf never made nothing but a bare living in all these days. And yet last night he was buying drinks for the boys in the cafe like he had cash to burn. Yes? I'll bet he trailed the killer, then blackmailed him. There's one sure way to find out. Where does Wolf live? In a shack about a mile out of town. You want to come along, I'll show you. Fine. I'll make Wolf talk all right. And when he does, I'm jailing a murderer. Accompanied by the masked man, the sheriff mounted and headed his horse toward the tumble-down shack where Wolf Larson made his home. They were still some distance away when they heard the howling of the dog pack. Come on, old fellow. A stranger? Yes? Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't flying into your business or anything of the sort. But do you mind me asking you something? Certainly not. What is it? Uh, you said that engine part of yours is named Tonto. And I've heard you call that horse there Silver a couple of times. It wouldn't be that you got silver bullets in them guns if you would it. I have. Just what I suspicion. You think you know me? <laughs> I reckon I do. And here I've been trying to figure what kind of a crook it is that'd go to all this trouble helping the law find the killer. And those dogs always make that much noise? All us. Never know them to fail. You see, wolves don't feed them so good. Figures they work better on the trail for being a mite hungry. I see. Now, there's his place. You expect to find him in? And the way he's carrying on in the cafe last night, it'd surprise me if he'd get up before noon. If he'll talk, this should solve your case. Oh, he'll talk all right. You just leave that to me. Here's where we turn in. Come on, boy. This way, Silver. Now, pull up here. Right. Oh, oh boy. Whoa, whoa, there. Whoa. Coming? I'll be right with you. Come on. This doesn't look like the home of a man with plenty of money to spend. I told you he just made a living and that was all. Wolf! Oh, hey, Wolf! Open up, it's me, the sheriff. I have left the house after all. Betty he ain't. Blast you, Wolf, you hear me all right. Open up this door. See if it's locked. Yeah. Nope, can't. Come on, we'll rouse him out. That is room? Sure. Go right ahead in. Nothing here. The bed hasn't even been slept in. Better have a look in the kitchen. Maybe he never even got this far. Can I see anything? Look there, beneath the table. Huh? Well, doggone. Sound asleep. Not asleep, Sheriff. No? Dead. <laughs> Dead. 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. After they had discovered that Wolf Larson had been murdered, the Lone Ranger left the sheriff and returned to the camp he shared with Tonto. There he told the faithful Indian what he and the sheriff had discovered. I think I know what happened, Tonto. What that? You remember we were certain Wolf had trailed the killer? Uh Uh-huh. Well, he found him, let him know it, and demanded money to keep silent. Mm, Him take heap, big chance. More of a chance than he could have realized. The man must have paid that explains why Wolf had so much money to spend in the cafe last night. Ah. The killer realized, however, that if Wolf lived, either one of two things must happen. What then? Either he'd have to go on paying for Wolf's silence indefinitely, or one day Wolf would get careless and reveal what he knew. The killer couldn't afford to let either happen. And that why him kill him? Right. He paid Wolf, and last night went to Wolf's place and made sure he could never talk to the law. No, killer safe. It seems so. But we have to find some way to learn who he is. And what we do? The sheriff is certain he must be one of three men. Who then? Either Clint Winters, Bart Baker, or Pinky Samuels. Pinky lives in town doing odd jobs. Bart is a cowpuncher and Clint is a rancher. Each one of the three hated the banker. To the sheriff's best knowledge, they're the only men in the district who did. Hmm. They're Wolf. Hear them? They overrun this district. That's why Wolf made his headquarters here with those dogs of his. Oh. These wolves are clever. Clever at bringing down calves. The cattlemen are glad to pay a bounty for them. There, Wolf, now. See him? Yes. You can make him out against that ridge. He's a big fellow. I... Tonto, I've got an idea. What that? We wanted to find a way to learn the killer's identity. Uh Uh-huh. Well, we shall. I'll do it. Wolves are murderers, Kimosabe. Not right. Well, we'll set a killer to catch a killer. The murder of Banker Whipple had stirred up more excitement in the town of Crown Butte than anything that had happened there during the past five years. The sheriff was aware that if he failed to find the killer... He would be severely criticized, and therefore bent every effort toward that end. As all other leads had failed, there was nothing left for him to do but try and break the alibi of one of his three suspects. Blast it! One of you three fellas is lying. It has to be. Now, which one is it? Sheriff, you ain't got nothing on any of us. Maybe not yet, Clint, but I will. Then what's delaying you? You're just bluffing, Sheriff, and you know it. Might as well admit it. You ain't fooling anybody. Bluffing, huh? Well, I'll tell you this, Bart. I've been looking into that story you told me. What story? About being to hum when the banker was killed. I was. But you can't prove it. Ain't the soul seen you there. Forgetting something, Major Sheriff. Huh? All you got again me is that I didn't have a speck of use for the banker. Well, that being the case, it ain't up to me to prove I'm innocent. It's up to you to prove I'm guilty. Ah. <laughs> That's so, Sheriff. And the same goes for the rest of us. We don't have to prove nothing. You gents figure you're right smart, don't you? (laughs) We'll make it. Uh Uh-huh. That reminds me of something. Uh, Pinky. Yeah? Didn't you tell me afore you was over to Wolf's place the same day? What about it? Wasn't you giving the cash he was spending so free the night he was killed, was it? What would I give Wolf cash? No, no. Lesson was to keep him from telling. Telling what? Oh, something to get you into a heap of trouble. Still guessing, ain't you? Well, go right ahead. Have your fun. You ain't hurting none of us any outside of wasting our time. Now, look, fellas, one of you is guilty. But by the same token, two of you are innocent. Now, why don't you two help me against the other, instead of all of you holding back? Oh, save that line of gab for them that believes it, Sheriff. I ain't... What the... Who threw that rock in here? Come right through the window. What's that tied to it? Looks like red, huh? Hey, give me that. Oh, I wasn't going to read it. I said give it here. Sure, take it. What's he say? Anything important? Why don't you go out and look for the fellow that tossed it? Because I don't have to, I know. Now, I'm going outside. If one of you tries to leave before I'm back, you'll find yourself jailed. The way it should. You heard me. I 
stranger. Where are you? Here, Sheriff. What's up? I had to get that note to you without being seen. I'm sorry about the window. Oh, the blazes with the window. The county will pay for that. If it don't, I'll pay out of my own pocket. Now, what's your news? Now, one moment. Had any luck with those fellows inside? Not none. But you're still positive one of them must be the killer? More so than ever. Then we'll learn which one. Yeah, how? With the aid of Wolf Larson's dogs. Huh? Do you recall that when we found Wolf's body, the kitchen door was standing wide open? Uh Uh-huh. Whoever killed Wolf was in plain sight of his dogs chained up outside. What about it? And the dogs still around? Still out of the shack. My deputy's been tending to him. Good. But I don't The dogs must have seen the killing and the killer. Sure. And they're ugly, vicious fellows. One-man dogs will always remain faithful to the first master. They was that all right. Though Geist knows why, figuring who the master was. Sheriff, you and I are going to attempt something. What? You're going to take Pinky, Clint, and Bart out of town a mile or two afoot. So when those dogs are released, I wonder if they won't follow the scent of the man they know killed their master. You mean they'd recognize the skunk that done it and go after him? Other dogs have. My gosh, it's a chance worth taking. We'll try it. But why take them fellas out of town? To make quite certain nothing will confuse the scent the dogs follow. I get it. And when do we start? As soon as possible. You might walk them towards that ridge west of town. I'll do that. And if they object, I'll drive them out there with a gun if I have to. Don't tell them your purpose until you've left town. And explain just what you're doing. Right. Very well. Get started. I'll allow you three quarters of an hour. Then Tonto will release the dogs. That'll be just about time enough. Adios, stranger. And luck. Three quarters of an hour. Well, what happened out there, Sheriff? Anything to keep us from leaving now? I want to drop in at the cafe. I get some chores to do out of the house. You can put them off. <laughs> you fellas are coming along with me for a walk. What? what? Where? Out of town a spell. Well, what in blazes We do you... won't have no arguing. I said we're going for a walk and we are. Either a piece of bullet or the pint of a gun. Take your choice. To me, it don't matter. Well, if you say we have to, I suppose... Well, for... You learn that soon enough. Well, there's the door. Now start marching. <laughs> Bewildered by the sheriff's command, but obeying because they had no choice, Clint, Pinky, and Bart walked the length of the town's main street and cut west toward a ridge that rose against the sky two miles distant. In the meantime, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had gone to the shack, formerly occupied by Wolf Larson. The dogs, surly and suspicious, growled uneasily at them. Almost time, Kimosabe. Uh, Our plan has to succeed. It worked. Yes, I believe it will. These dogs certainly look fierce enough to do the trick. Them fighters. Fine dogs, just the same. Uh, that big black fellow there must be half wolf himself. All of them look as though they have at least part of the wolf strain in them. Not right. Well, we waited long enough. <laughs> you understand your part? I'm me, Savvy. Give me a 50-yard head start. Uh, then release the dogs. How to do it? I'll head directly for the ridge. You follow these fellows. Uh, then I'm on my way. Come on, Silver. Come on. You wait. Wait. You go now. Go. Here, Scout. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Unaccustomed to walking, the sheriff's three companions grumbled a great deal. The sheriff paid no attention to their complaints, nor did he permit them to stop until they had reached the ridge. There, however, he called a halt. All right, gents, this will do fine. You said you'd tell us why you brought us here. It better be a plenty good reason, or you're going to hear about this when we get back, sheriff. You've gone beyond your rightful authority. Shucks, don't you fellas want to know who qu- killed Wolf Larson and the banker? Taking a walk ain't going to tell us nothing. Why, shucks, Bart, it'll tell us everything. Yeah? How do you figure that? Well, you see, the same fella killed the banker, killed Wolf. How come? I ain't got reasons for saying that. Ain't going into them now, though. All right, even if it was, what then? Well, the killer made a mistake. If he'd have been satisfied just to kill the banker, maybe he'd have got away with it. All of supposing Wolf didn't talk. Wolf? I said there wasn't no use explaining that part of it now. But you can bet the pole cat that done the killing savvy is what I mean. And if you other two don't, it don't matter. Well, get on with it if you've got more explaining to do. Well, like I said, maybe he could have killed the banker and got away with it. 
But when he killed Wolf, that was different. How? Why, the crazy idiot forgot all about Wolf's dogs. Huh? Sure. And where the law can't catch the polecat, them dogs sure can. I've been a manhunter for a good many years, fellas, but I ain't yet reached the point where I can follow a trail as neat and certain as a hunting dog can. I don't savvy this. Shucks, it ain't hard. It's just like this. When Wolf was killed, it was where the dog seemed to done. Now, maybe to you and me, Wolf didn't amount to much. But to them dogs, he was quite some feller. And what they'll do to the gent that finished him is likely to be a caution. But where are them dogs now? You don't mean that... There they... comes a feller that'll tell you just what I mean. Come on, old fellow. Come on, Silver. Ain't that a masked man? Who is he? Who dealt him in on this? You'll see mighty soon. What's that? It just dropped. Huh? I thought I seen... Well, I guess it wasn't nothing. Hi there, friend. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. They're heading this way, Sheriff. Sure enough. They picked up the trail at once. I saw them start out. You should be able to see and hear them in a moment. Fine. Now, look here. What are you fellas aiming to do? Are them dogs coming? Coming this way, sure enough. When they get here, the man who killed their master is going to be made to regret it. Huh? There are three of you here besides the sheriff and myself. One of you, you Bart, or you Clint, or you Pinky, is a killer. Those dogs know which one of you is guilty, even if we don't. And they'll avenge their master. Oh, golly. Them critters are regular man-eaters. Well, they could easy do to a man what they're trained to do to wolves. What right? Quiet. Is... They're getting here fast. There isn't much time. Oh, listen to them howl. Just listen. One of you is guilty. The sheriff and I are giving that man his choice. His choice? If he confesses, he'll hang. And, and if we don't? Then the dogs will have to deal out justice in their own way. But I, I never killed anybody. I did not tell you. Then you've nothing to fear. Uh, you can't let them dogs get after a man. You, you just can't. I reckon we can, all right. When the story's told in town, I don't think anybody's going to waste much sympathy on the feller. Quick, before it's too late. Which one of you is a killer? Confess. Time's getting short. Look at him come. Keep him back. Make him turn back. Hurry. They won't get me. I'll shoot him. I'll kill him. No, you don't, Pinky. Let me shoot. Let go. Confess. Here they come. Hurry. I did it. I'll confess. Just don't let them farmers get a hold of me. I'll confess to anything. Save me. Save me. You killed the banker? <laughs> yes, yes. And Wolf Larson? I did, I did, but stop him. I I'll said... shoot him. Hold it, Sheriff. What? It isn't necessary. Don't you see? They've stopped. They'll bother no one. But, but they was after me. I... I don't savvy. They weren't after you, Pinky. What's that? It, they followed me. I dragged a wolf pelt all the way from town as I rode. They were on the set of the wolf. If you doubted, look where the dogs have stopped. The pelt's there now. Well, I'll be tricked. By your own conscience. Come on, Silver. Hello, Silver! Away! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>